All right, it's time to change the saw blade. Better get that wrench and the Allen keys. Nope, that's not it. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Ah, got it. Now that took some doing. Ugh, there's gotta be a better way. I started out by printing a form-fitted case for the wrench and the Allen keys. Every time I need to change my saw blade, I'm always missing the wrench and the Allen key. Let's see if we can store it in the track. Seems like that'd be helpful. No luck. There's a bolt head under both ends of the carriage. Well, I'm gonna have to come up with something else. Let's try making an aluminum bracket. Let's mark the mounting hole for the bracket. Carefully scribe the tray and the mounting bracket. I use some strong double-sided tape to hold the parts together while I'm drilling. That way the holes align. I also rounded over the vertical bracket to be the same profile as the flange on the saw. Assemble the bracket, check everything for square, and use two nuts to make sure we have a nice tight connection that won't vibrate loose. Make sure the 3D printed tool tray is tightly affixed to the bracket. With the bracket firmly in place, my wrench and Allen keys are always ready to go whenever I need to change the saw blade. Well, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Take care.